and the craziness that is now the American Mafia continues on. Anthony Zatola had his friends in the Lucchese and Bonanno families hunt down his father, Sylvester Sally Daz Zatola, an associate of the Lucchese family, over the course of a year and try to kill him. Every attempt failed except for the last one. Anthony Zatola wanted his father dead so he could seize control his father's estimated $45 million real estate empire that generates about $1 million in rental income per year. Sally Daz Zatolo worked directly for Vincent Bashano, the former boss of the Bonanno crime family, but, apparently, he paid into both the Bonanno and Lucchese families. As part of that grab, Tony Zatolo was arrested for the near-fatal contract shooting of his brother Salvatore Zatolo on July 11, 2018, shooting outside his Bronx waterfront apartment, New York. The gunmen in that case were Hyman Ross and Alfred Lopez. Salvatore was shot in the head, chest, and hand. Following the attack, Salvatore said, Anthony never came to visit him in the hospital. He said he had to go to a soccer game with his kids, Salvatore said. At some point afterward, Salvatore said, he asked Anthony if he knew anything about the origin of the violence directed toward him. Anthony answered that he didn't know where it was coming from either. On October 4th of 2018, Bus Han Shelton, a member of the Fearsome Bloods gang shot and killed the elder Zatolo with four direct, up-close bullets to the body while the 71-year-old was on a coffee run at a McDonald's drive through in the Bronx. In November of 2017, a masked gunman tried to kill Sylvester Zatola, and in December 2017, three men invaded his home, struck him on the head with a gun, stabbed him, and slashed his throat. Finally, his son placed a tracking device in his father's car that allowed Bus Han Shelton to track him to the McDonald's where he was killed. After his father's death was reported in the news, Anthony Zatola texted back and forth with the killer, Bus Han Shelton. When Shelton texted, can we party today or tomorrow, to Zatola, Zatola responded tomorrow, explaining, it's my little man's birthday. I am taking him to his favorite place McDonald's, then, a movie. LOL. Like I eat that stuff. Thank you for being a great friend, my man. A while later, Zatola paid Shelton $200,000 for the successful murder of his father. In April of 2023, Anthony Zatola and Hyman Ross, who carried out the failed hit on brother Salvatore Zatola, were also sentenced to life in jail for shooting Zatola plus 112 years in federal prison for murdering the elder Zatola.